LeBron James podcast with J.J. Riddick, right? Now, I want y'all to think about something, right? J.J. Riddick already been podcasting a lot of these NBA players, NBA, NFL players, a lot of these guys, right, became podcasters in the pandemic. A lot of them became podcasters because they wasn't making enough money in their profession. That means NBA players, NFL players, all these entertainers, they all became podcasters because they, at some point in their careers, was falling off. They were on the back end of their careers, not making the money they wanted to make. So they decided to come on over to the world with YouTube, with the regular folks, to make podcasts, right? Well, LeBron could have went and made a podcast with anybody else in the world, but he chose J.J. Reddick. Um, he's really, uh, J.J. Reddick is really unknown in the basketball world. If you really know basketball, you don't really just, you tell him about basketball, you just don't make a J.J. Reddick. LeBron could have went to any of these other black sports creators out here, right? And blew them up, helped put them in position. But he chose J.J. Reddick. Why? Well, I believe the elites talked to LeBron. Hey, hey, son. You can do a podcast. You can even get more famous, more money, more income. Spring income coming in, but don't you dare go against Master. Master say you can have more. But you better bring one of Master's boys with you. So you take my son, my good son right there. He pale, but he my son. And you make him big with you. Because he never been big ever in his life. He ain't even been a thought on nobody's mind. Even in the basketball world, beyond any other thoughts outside his relatives, nobody ever even thought of a J.J. motherfucking Ricky. Every time a nigga play 2K, he don't pick J.J. Reddick to be on a nigga team. This is not what you do. Every time a nigga think of sports, he don't think of that nigga. So LeBron heard Massa. You know what a good slave do when he's on? When he's on, a good slave listen to his Massa. Yes, Massa, I won't go join uh, I won't bring up another black man, Massa. But I'll bring up your good boy, Massa. He got it all, Massa. He already white, Massa. He already don't get opportunities that other blacks don't get, Massa. But Massa, I'll bring him on up, Massa. And I'll make sure, Massa, that he have a big name too, Massa. Anything else you need, Massa? No, LeBron is good. You did a good job, son. You just mind your tongue, and you're going to keep being successful. The day you don't want to mind your business, we're going to cut some motherfucking ties and cut some motherfucking strings, and you're going to lose some goddamn things. But you're going to be a good boy for NASA. A good boy for NASA. That's why he picked J.J. Reddick. He had to be a good boy for NASA. And Massa loved him a good boy. And LeBron James have been a good boy for Massa. You do good work for Massa.